Hello, everybody. All right. I got him cleaned up a little bit. Got the gas tank off. I didn't film any of that because, well, y'all know how to take gas tanks off and stuff. I'm sure you do. It's still got a little bit of dirt on it here and there. Uh, that hole right there is not looking the best in the world. I don't know. Maybe it's just watered a little bit right there on the end. It's actually tight. That is too. Just check it on before I put it together. Because I would rather I would rather fix the holes now than once the holes all. But yeah, I believe it'll be all right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just got some dirt in the thread down in there. I need to get me one of those pin and blow nozzles stick down in there. I've got a little bit of dirt on it yet, but not much. I've got most of it off of it. So, uh, that's good. Looks like the wires has got a little rod on too, so I'll probably wind up having to make a set of wires. Got a little bit of moisture on the piston while I blowed it off. I'm wiping it with a dirty rag. What the world? That's all right. I shouldn't even start filming yet. I didn't think I got to do the carburetor yet. Let's slide that out of the way. Well, let's put the, we'll just go ahead and put the gas tank on it. Since I'm already, since I'm already here. The uh, other gas tank, it wasn't really anything like physically wrong with it. Well, as far as, it wasn't a bad tank, but it was bent. And how they bent it, I have no earthly idea. So, uh, I just decided since I had this one here, uh, I'd go ahead and swap it out and put this one on it instead. I think this is going to make a nice little saw. I think she's going to make a, a nice little saw. Oh, I got a dog to put on it. I can find the bolts. I had the bolts laying here somewhere. I moved everything around. I know them, them that I tried are not the ones for it. Those are case bolts. Right, that's one. Where in the world is the other one? Oh, that's right. It was missing one. Never mind. I know. It was missing one. So, let's get the magic box out and put two that match in it. Because I prefer that they match. It's not imperative that they match, I don't reckon. But, I try to use bolts that are real close to the original. They have the same look that the saw has. Now these are these are stainless, but you know, that's neither here nor there. They're stainless and they're going in there. We might finish cleaning on this thing a little bit more once we get it all put together. I got the majority of it. These things just get so nasty. Yeah, there's a little hidden bolt. And under there, down. There you 
Figueiredo. And that I need to wrap them wires up or something. The blue one's the only one I really worry about. The black one's just the ground. So as long as it's hooked anywhere, it's rotted off. Of course it is. I didn't notice that before, but all right. Well, nonetheless, we're gonna push that out of the way for now. But we have got to check out the carburetor. And she's a little dirty. All right, let's get this thing snatched apart right quick. Do a little quick modification, just to, in case. Well, we'll check it out first, and then we'll do the modification if we need to. These carburetors right here take a special kit and it's going to need one. Well, the inside's clean. That's a good thing. Even if the, if the stuff's a little bit stiff, that ain't that big of a deal for us. The main thing is the inside look good. Yeah, that side looks fine. And it still has the things on the carburetor. We're going to just wash this thing out real good. Trying to get all the crap off of it, I can. Is this filthy? I ain't even kidding. Okay, it's going to need a kit. Let me go get a kit and I'll bring you back and we'll put it back together. All right. <clears throat> I wish this camera would zoom, but it won't. Do y'all really want to see me build this carburetor? I reckon. I'm just going to get that out of there right quick. We'll clean that hole out, make sure there's no dirt in there. Put the new needle in. The old spoon doesn't have any wear on it, so I'm going to use it because it looks like it's got a little bow to it where I don't want it. <coughs> so, I'm going to drop that in there. Slide this back through to that side. You got to sit it down all in there at one time and bam. There you have it. That's the hardest part of the whole carburetor rebuild. Most of the time. All right, and this is a, I said, what's that, HDA? If you got one of these tools, it comes in handy. If you don't, you just kind of have to guess a little bit. She's a little low. You just want a straight edge over it. Anytime you bend up on it, I always pop it back down a little bit. And make sure the needle's not stuck down in the hole. Or uh, you'll get a false reading. And sometimes the needle will be stuck shut. So uh, we're going to try this one without, uh, without doing the modification to it and see if it works. And if it does, we'll go. If it don't, then we'll modify it. 
because luckily you can get to this while it's uh while it's on top look i just about to do it there you have to use the right gasket for this carburetor and if you don't if you don't use the right gasket that hole right there will not be open see even this gasket here when i stuck it on there i must have stuck it on wrong nope nope no that's what i was thinking there's two of these they look the same but they're different you have to put the one with the hole on the bottom and the diaphragm goes on the bottom and there's a corresponding hole right there and this cap goes on and it goes like this and it fits on there and it has a hole over here and this gasket goes on and does not have a hole and seals the lid off yeah so that one's on the lid stuck on there pretty dang good I might just use it because that one don't want to come off now got the stack built up I don't want to tear it back down or set it down and drop it or something so we're just gonna go with it like that I have more in-depth carburetor building videos here and there. I've done several on TNTs and stuff like that. Most of them are pretty much the same. This one's a little bit different because of that lid. I know some people just drill a hole in this lid and block it, pour it off, use the top gasket on the on the bottom, and, and there you go. Now Dad's are coming up here. All right, y'all, I might try to get this thing stuck back together so we can fire it up. So, uh, put the screen in. Push the screen down. Like that. We're going to throw a new, new diaphragm on y'all. The right direction. Put the new gasket on and we'll be done with the carburetor for now. I just got to put everything back together. So, uh, let's see if we can get this put on here. There's one pin that goes in the corner. One pin goes in the other corner. And I get them bisacred sometimes. If you look at it, you can figure it out. But sometimes my my bicyclesness gets a hold of me. All right, there it is. So uh, I'm gonna switch these wires and stuff out right quick, and we'll get the cylinder put back on, and we'll see if we can see what it sounds like here directly. All right, everybody. Without further ado, it's back together enough to crank. I have not tried it yet. I just got done sticking it back together. I've had several people come by, dead, a few other things, and I have got a blasting headache. So we're going to fire this thing up. If she runs, I'm going to stop this video, edit it, and I'm going to shut my eyes. So y'all keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully she'll fire off. I think it will.
Clutch fell right over in that box and just fell in the bottom and just sat there and spun. So I'd say she's quick. And I hammered that clutch on there, y'all. It was on there tight. So, uh, all right. I'm not going to get the clutch out of the box right now because, like I said before, I got a blasting headache. I'm just going to edit this video and upload it. So, uh, well, that's what she sounds like. We'll get it out in the wood, probably tomorrow or something. I get a little bit better feeling. Uh, we'll try it out and see what happens. So, uh, y'all have a good day. Stay safe. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. God bless. Bell hopper out.